seat if I cover all of those Opposition leader of Ontario Ontario Assembly, Mark so, Stiles. And first of all, thank you so much uh, for inviting Mark me here, uh, and for hosting she is speaking at um, really NDP events hosted by NDP workers and uh, it is uh, Ramadan Mubarak. It is lovely to see you all this here this is evening. Malik from Toronto um, 360. I'm, I'm just so I'm just so happy. I, I have to tell you, I've been the last few days. Uh, I've been traveling around, and um, I've shared an iftar with a number of communities uh, in. Uh, in uh, where was I yesterday? My gosh, Ryan. Uh, I was in in, in, in Toronto. <laughs> But I mean in the Peel region uh, as well, moving around, connecting with many, many people, particularly uh, because it is Ramadan, um, and, uh, and joining in Iftar with, uh, in many, many parts of this province. And um, it is always uh, so wonderful uh, to be welcomed in such a warm way, to be part of such a, a festive and important occasion. And I have to say as well, to see how um, the Muslim community has come together, it comes together always throughout Ramadan, but comes has come together in such a significant way to serve the broader community um, over over the last few years in particular. And uh, to my friend's uh, point, um, I must say that I really uh, have noticed as I go around the province um, the pressure that people are the struggles that are facing so many in our communities, uh, whether it's uh, dealing with the affordability of housing uh, or food, uh, the number of people going to food banks has just exploded across this province. People with full-time jobs, multiple jobs, still needing to go to food banks. Um, or whether it's all those other little costs, the cost of food, but also um, the costs uh, to keep one's house, the costs of gas, and just the general struggle that many of us still face of isolation and our families and our kids in particular still wearing some of that from the, uh, the, the pandemic. And so one of the things that really always strikes me is how, and how, how wonderful it is that communities have come together and continue to support each other. On the political side, as the new leader of His Majesty's official opposition, I, uh, it is a real privilege to be able to stay in the legislature uh, every day and raise these issues and put forward proposals. Because for me, I really believe that what people in this province need is some real hope. It's time for hope. It's time to do things differently. It's time to come up with solutions. Uh, and the solutions are there. Uh, and I truly believe that uh, me and the Democratic Party have an opportunity to really change things in the next few years. But it starts here. In the connections that we make across communities, I see you know, our, our former, one of our former, another of our former candidates here, Julia Cole. Julia Cole is here. I think there's other candidates probably in the room as well. Yes, of course. So I hope, oh, my goodness. So we have a lot of former candidates here. We have a lot of potential future candidates, I hope. Um, and a lot of our, uh, our organizers and activists as well. It's really lovely to be here with all of you. I want to also make a mention of the senator who's joining us this evening um, and other dignitaries. We really appreciate you being here. Um, I'm going I'm to wrap up because I know we're getting close to that moment. I don't want to hold it up, but I'm looking forward to spending the evening, uh, getting to know all of you better, uh, connecting over in car, and uh, learning a little bit about what you see are the struggles that people face and how we're going to make that change. So thank you all very much for the opportunity to speak with you this evening. Uh, Ramadan Mubarak, uh, and uh, and it's just lovely to be here and to be so welcome. Thank you. Thank you, thank you Mark. Uh,